All right, I just wanted to do, a, uh, do an extra video here, say a couple extra things about this machine um, or the operation of it. Um, this might even come in handy to somebody that wants to know how to use one of these but has never used one before, um, doesn't want to look like an idiot in front of somebody important, I don't know. Um, these machines are extremely, extremely exacting. So if you're, if you're like some idiot that doesn't know how to use it and you start screwing around with it, like you could easily break it. Like if, if, if basically like if somebody tries to use this machine and has no idea what they're doing, big expensive problems can occur. Okay, so bottom line, um, first thing, got to use metal reels. If the reels aren't metal, then the tape tensioners don't lock down because they're set to a very specific calibration and only, only somebody that really knows what they're doing can readjust it and you wouldn't want to let anybody do that anyway because it, I, from, what I, from what I know it's never supposed to be readjusted. Um, or from what I've been told. So bottom line is, bottom line is always use metal reels. Okay. Next, make sure that the, make sure that you got the right reel uh, lockdown uh, devices, reel hubs or whatever you want to call them. Cause they basically like, they're also one of the most, you know, important parts of the whole puzzle. So anyway, um, also, all right, so if you got your tape and what you're going to do is you're going to thread it on the inside of the tensioner control arm, and you're going to wrap it around and just gently roll it right over the right over the heads, wrapped around the cap stand and then around the other side of the control arm. And we're gonna put it on here like this. You're gonna wrap it around. Some people get quick at this. I don't know, I'm not as quick at it because I'm always nervous. Right, don't be nervous. Then just just wrap it around. And I like to give it a couple couple turns just to make sure it's it's on there. I like to try to get it tight with the other reel. Give it a few turns around. All right. Okay, that's before you've even turned the machine on. All right. Then a power up. Okay, if nothing's wrong with one of these machines, this is exactly what it should do. Okay. See the lockout button, red button right there? That stays on for about 10 seconds, then it turns off, okay? Then, automatically it's in safe mode. So you got four green buttons, four yellow buttons on Repro. You wanna monitor your input, hold down input, and then press one and two, okay? But here's the trick, all right? That nobody seems to know about this machine. If you don't know how to use these one, one of these machines, you'll never even get you'll never even get it to roll tape. Okay, you gotta hold down the stop button. Okay, and let's say you're locked in. Let's say you're locked in at 15 IPS. Okay, hold down your you gotta hold down the stop button. Okay, and you got your reels. What you do is you jig one of them to the left. The one on the left, you jig it to the left. All right, or actually. Just what you do is you just turn it tight, basically, okay? Bang, okay? Very lightly, and then the, then the caps, the, the real hold downs, they lock in, okay? So, from there, press play, okay? There's your play, whatever you gotta do, all right? Very simple. Or, <clears throat> Lock it into record, press record, and then play at the same time. Or actually, actually, when it's in, actually, don't forget to put it into ready mode. So press ready one and two, 
and you can monitor the input or the repro head, whichever one you want to do. It's in stop, press record and play, and there's your record. It's that simple. <clears throat> I don't even know if that's simple, but that's, that's how it works. And then, if you want to fast forward, press stop, fast forward it. Spins fast as hell. It's almost dangerous how fast it spins. Okay, press play. And that is your Ampex ATR 100 lesson from your man Julian. Peace. No, Dad, you know how to work one of these machines now? I know, you're ready to fucking induct me into an insane asylum. I don't blame you. I'll tell you, I should have been born in 1970. And I should have been making records for fucking Led Zeppelin. That's what I should have been doing.